today we're out for a little bit of a mudlark yeah. on this great big hilly dump here. It's all hills, it's all bottle dump. Yeah. And we're going to be checking it out, see if we can find any special little gems. Little goodies. Anything standing out. If you spot mm. anything, let us know. Mm. Uh, just shout out loud, we'll hear you. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a look around, see what we yeah. can find. So uh, let's get on with the show. Let's go. Let's get going. Oh, well, this is a nice little feature around a little bit of a pond area here. Look, a little cobbled, little cobbled path. I bet back in the day when this was first all made and made for people to come round, I bet it was beautiful, but you know, just overgrown now, which is a little bit of a shame, but yeah, even that's a little bit of history, isn't it? This cobbled path and just gone to stone. Right, we've just come to the far end for a change. We're gonna work our way up. And I just wanna show you things to look for when you're looking for a dump, okay? So if you can see on the path, little bits, shards of pottery, that's the first sign. And obviously the bits of broken glass as well, coloured pottery. But when you're walking along and if you see signs like that, you just know that it's not far away at all, glass. So you just see everything. You can walk in woods and see things like that, okay? But that's what you're looking for, like, you know, pottery and glass bits. Pretty, uh, pretty obvious really, but you know, keep, keep your eyes down, keep looking. I was thinking that was a marble when I saw it there, but it's not a marble. It looks like a marble, I don't know when you see it, but it's a uh, top of a lid or something. Oh, right. It's like a top of a... Oh, <laughs> oh that's a dinky one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no. Oh no, that's alright for crafting that actually, Mick. I like little bits. That is great. It does look like a little marble, you're right. But yeah, a little tiny knob of a little tiny lid could easily nip that bit off and make that into something else. Maybe, I don't know, like a mushroom. Like that, I don't know, not sure. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Keeping it. A nice tan today. Oh, that's me! A, that's a lovely tan you've got there. You've been, I was, I was, you've been away. <laughs> no, I've not. Away. No, I've been not been. been nice without me. I don't have a tan. No, you don't have a tan, Mick. You've been, it was can a I have, working. please, you've can I? Holiday. You're a horrible. Can I please explain my face? Don't worry, explain right. your face. Because anybody wants to know why you're so tanned. Up. <laughs> my daughter said, Molly said, oh, get this spray. It gives you a nice, just a bit, a bit of a warm glow to your face. Just a little, do it over a few days, though, yeah. you know, because it's only light. Yeah. So I did it the first day. And then, so I did it the first day. And then did it the second day. And this is the second day. This, 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 this is dessert. after two. This is three days later. Yeah, I should have done it as well. So we could pretend we've been to Benadom. Well, it's Saint Tropez, tan, so I'm going to pretend I've been yeah. to Saint Tropez. Even the people in the shop asking you've been away. I could kill her. Honestly, this is what it looks like. In the shop, the lady said, "Have you been on holidays?" Yeah, Sarah? she did. Yeah, I, yeah. So just Iceland. don't don't mention the tan, okay? Yeah. It's a safe one. That's okay though. It works though. Huh? Mm, that looks like an ice blue jar, or it could be the contents. <laughs> These. Uh, oh, it is the contents. The contents that have spilled out actually I made it look like an ice blue jar. It's a tricker. It's parading as a nice blue jar. It's just a clear one, just a grotty clear one. And mind, you've got to look, you've got to pick it up and um, just to check, just in case. But I've just come to, there's this path here and the, oh, where Mick is and all that bit that you can see. But I've just come to this bit where the stuff is just starting to grow. Just because this is the last chance to look this year now, here. Just if there's something on the surface, this is the last chance to find it before all this stuff grows. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I won't bring you with me because it's, you know, pretty tedious. A pretty tedious look on the the bit that's growing here but i will go if i see a little bit of earth over there so i'm just gonna have a quick scour if i see anything i won't touch it i'll come back and get you and we'll have a look together okay i think i think we have a winner down here can you see can you see it let's have a look and that to me looks like a marble oh my goodness me I've had some great marbles. I'm going to swap hands one sec. Oh, big love. There we go. I've had some great marbles from here. This is no exception. What is it? Like a... I don't know. Get my hands dirty. But <laughs> there you go. A lovely white and red marble. What else did I see? What are these? Oh, no. These aren't... These aren't clay marbles, are they? No, 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 no. They're not clay marbles, are they? They're, they're things out of plant pots, aren't they? You know what I mean? Because you, you wouldn't have a mound of clay mark. They're all round, though. I don't I don't understand. Are they the things you put in plant pots? I think they are. Let's not get too carried away, because there's a big clump of them, and you wouldn't find a big clump of clay marbles, would you? So, 
but there's nothing else anywhere else. I don't know. Oh no, because look at that misshapen one. Right, no, I think th these aren't clay marbles. Look, they're not smooth. They're a bit holy. They are um, from plant pots. That is definitely a marble though, without a doubt. That is a super fine uh, red to orangey white marble. That's a gem, a little gem. Let's keep looking, like I say, in this ground bit here. Just stop going like that on your feet and see what see what appears. And that is a super little find. You always get nice pottery here, but it's just not one of my things. But you do you do get some nice bits of pottery on here. Right, I'm just going to think, just going to have a look, see if anything has come down from that little bit of a hole there. Well, I'm going to see how far I get up here. That is, there's another bit of pottery, one sec. It's worth showing sometimes. I'll just give it a quick wipe, one sec. See, look at that, that's lovely, but I don't do anything with it. But that is nice, it's lovely colour, it's like a turquoise colour, that one. That is a beauty, that's very nice, but that is staying there. Right, I'm going to try and get up here. It's a bit better, because when it's frozen, it's really hard to walk up here, so I'm just going to have a quick scan up here. Might see if I can get up there as well, and then go down there maybe. You can see a jar up there. Is it worth clambering up there for though? And now aqua, I can see it's aqua. See a box to the side here, you know what, we've made it this far up here, we might as well have a look. There's a lot of cup up there, isn't there? Right, okay. Oh, it's just a piece of pottery. Thought it was a bead, hang on, let me wipe it. See what I mean? Lovely, lovely pattern pottery here. It was this one to look at, I'm not gonna take it. Oh, it's just a clear one. Just a clear one, but worth having a look at, just in case. What's that? Oh, a bit of a shell. Pesky shells. Are these snail shells? Honestly, they look like little gems, and they're definitely not that. I'll keep looking. Right, there we go. I think that looks like, at the very, very least, the top of a stopper. At the very least. Oh, there you go. It is. It's full. Only if clear. Oops. Oops, 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 nearly a lost one. Only a clear glass stopper, but a nice little find there. I can see lots of bottlenecks and broken bottles. Pottery. I will try and work my way up to that jar up there, see what's going on. But there you go, a nice little find, a little stopper. Well, I just come all the way up here. Stopper up here. If it's a one piece, it's the coming home with me. Second stopper of the day. There you go. Second one. Keeping it. I found a little route up this way here, down here. I'm going to see if I can get up here. This is like that trench bit that's dropped. See, but if it's fallen out, this has fallen out anyway. So we'll keep that. Like an old uh, bayonet fitting or light fitting. Um, ceramic. And if you see these light fittings here, and I'm not sure when they changed them, but they used to have two wires in the lights. Many years ago, it used to be black and red. And, and I believe, I'm not an electrician, but I do believe what I've been told. After a while they added the third wire, the earth wire they call it, so people didn't kill themselves because people were messing around with these in, in their houses. Because it wasn't earth, they were getting electric shots. So then they introduced the earth wire. And I think they changed the codes now to blue and brown. And it's probably changing again, I heard, to black and red again. I might be wrong, but that's why there's two wires there. And there's no earth wire on that. We've got this far, let's see what that is. See what it is. Oh, a Threll Falls Salford little bottle there. Not one that I like particularly, but I'll show it you anyway because we've managed to make it a little bit further up this hill towards that jar up there. And there is that little bottle there we can have a look at. If we can get to it. I'm trying to just pick up the little gems. Well, it's finding them, it's a difficult bit. Right, what's that? Oh, it's broken, it's busted one anyway. It's a busted one. But what's this blue colouring that everything's got? It's all, I've, I've seen a few now. You know, with that first one we found, I thought it was a, a nice blue bottle. But there's a few things with that blue colouring on. And it's just a colouring, it's not the glass itself. So, weird. Must be something in the ground that's reacting with, I think. There must be something in the in the soil. You know, like that makes the bottles go sick, which is uh, misty, foggy, sort of patina to the bottles, really etched into the bottles. Um, Maybe it's something like that, I don't know. But we're nearly at that jar, <laughs> if we make it. Better be full. Better be a full jar. Oh, my goodness, made it. Oh, my God, that's giving me teeth. There you go, aqua jar. Let's have a look at the condition of it. That is 
a nice jar. It's got a bit of um, sickness to it and iridescence. It's got a little bit of everything going on with that one. Sickness and iridescence. But there you go, it is full. There are no chips, there are no dinks. There you go, an aqua jar. <laughs> it was worth coming all the way up here for. Oh, it's a long way down. It's a long way down. I'm probably going to go down faster than I came up, that's for sure. There you go, aqua jar. Sledge where that aqua jar is. And look, you see a load of bottles there. A of bottles over there. And up there, this is the place to be. I've never walked all the way around up here. I usually come down over there and come down. That's where I saw the deers, I think. Now, can I get up there without breaking my neck? Can I get up there without breaking my neck? I'm going to try this way. If I can't go up this way, I'm going to go that way, I think. Right. I'll let you know if I get there. Oh, there you go. There's, a, there's another. There's another piece of nice pottery on here. Oops, sorry. Look at that. It's a beautiful pattern. Couldn't go that way. Couldn't, I just, just couldn't do it, so I decided to come this way. I'm just going to have a quick look as I go. What's that there? What's that? Sorry. Does that say something? One sec. Long may they rain. Oh! Long may they rain. Oh, it would have been a royal cup. You know I like my royal cups. Oh, that's a pity. That really is a pity. Let's see if I can find any more. Long may they reign. So it would have had some queen there. And some king there. Oh, what a pity. Gutted. Gutted. If I saw the faces though, I'd keep it. But I think I'm going to try. Which way shall I go? Hmm. I think people have been up here. Don't know about that. I want to go this way though before I go that way. I'm just going to have a quick look on here. See if there's anything else that catches my eye while I make my way over to where all them bottles were. I made it, <laughs> made it over the mound, over the mound just to see what all this was over here. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, it's a, what's that inside it? It's a wooden pipe bowl, but what is that inside it? I don't know. Let me see if I can get that out. One second. What I'll try and do is put you there. Oops, sorry. Bear with. One sec. What's in there? Is that a, a lion, do you think? Can't get my finger in. Let me just get a twig. Let me get a twig on it. Why would it have a liner? Do they have liners? Why would it have a liner? That doesn't make any sense. Is that just something stuck in it? I don't know, what do you think? I, I have no idea. What, why would it have a liner? Or is it bake? It's not wood, it's Bakelite, I think, that. That's Bakelite. That's a Bakelite pipe. I don't know if that's... I don't know, I'll have to just... I just need to get... Oops. just need to get this soil out and see if that hole... Everything's rotten. You can't poke it with anything because it's all rotten. <sighs> don't know, why would it have a... Right, I'll have to investigate that. that no, that's that's something else because that's not even got a hole in it. That is something else in there. I can't get it out. I don't know what that is in there. It fits perfectly though, but there's no hole. There's no hole from there into the bottom of this. So what the devil is that in there that's fit perfectly? I don't know. It's Bakelite pipe bowl. Gonna have it. It's a keeper. Oh, as it happens, I think all these bottles that have fell down here are smashed ones. Smashed ones, which I think have tumbled down from up there. I think maybe up here is where I want to be. I've never been up to this bit before. So, hopefully, there's going to be some gems left. Like that pipe. I just don't know what that thing was in that pipe at all. But we yeah, look at that, it's all broken. There's a jar. There's a, a thing that's full. That looks like a full one. Let's check it with the writing, just in case. You never know. It could have tumbled down the hill. And the bottle didn't come up with going after it. Oh no, no writing. But they are a lovely little a little dish, those. A lovely little white dish. There's a broken dish. Okay. Right, come on, let's keep our eyes peeled. Let's have a good look. Let's not go too fast. There, there's another bottle with that blue, with the blue finish on it. That's weird. Oh, maybe it's just iridescence. Maybe it's just like a dull iridescence. That's weird. Very weird. What's that under there? Oh, is that a little tiny bulb? Oh, that looks new, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks like a new. How's that got there? 
in the middle of here, how's that little bulb got there? But yeah, the blue stuff, let's have a look at the, type, the slate there, one sec. Look, it's a house slate. Just thought it had some writing on it. No, it's a house slate. It's a little bit of nothing. All right, just coming over here and I can see something that looks like a marble there, but I can't lose it, it's right at the top, but I just want to have a look. This looks quite, quite busy, quite a busy, by busy I mean it looks like it's got lots of bits and pieces in it, so I'm just going to have a quick, ch be quick bead check. I've actually got a little box in my pocket, so I'm hoping to find a bead <laughs> so I can put it in the little box that I've got. Right, I don't particularly want to go down that slope unless I see anything. I can't see anything. Right, so let's head towards this, what looks like a marble. It could be a little knob off a lid. Oh, no, 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 now I'm closer. I can see. It is a marble. Oh, it's another glass thing. Wow, I've had loads of these type coloured milk glass. What was oh, that bead? Is that, what's that? Oh, it's a beetle. It's a purple beetle. Right, let's not pick up purple beetles. Uh, there you go. Oh, it's a, bl a blue and an orange marble. That is amazing. That is a beautiful little find. I found loads here, honestly. Loads, loads of these milk, milk, coloured milk glass type marbles. That is a super little find, right? So have a quick look here and then I'm going to go back round. I'm going to go up there to that hole there. Up there, sorry, to that hole there, see if there's anything. But there you go. Super find. A marble. Next to my Ibiza tan. Oh, sorry, San Maritz. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Oh, I nearly uh, switched off there. Turn around. What's that? What is that? That looks... Oh, I thought it was a lens. Oh. No, what is that? that? I like that. That's industrial looking. Metal something or other with a metal disc in the middle. I thought that was a glass lens. Ooh, it's quite heavy. Rusty. I like that. I like that a lot. That will definitely lend itself to some sort of industrial craft. I don't know what it is though. Do you know what it is? What could it be off? What? There's loads of these shells here today. These ones. Oh, just there, there's another one there. Another one down there. I passed two or three over there. I think there's one up there as well. What? What is with these shells? Why would there be so many? I don't understand it. Is that something that they ate? I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, is that a gem pot? I'll tell you what, we will go down here. I am going to go down here. So you look, now it's damp like this. It's so easy. It's so e she says, so easy. Put the camera on me. I honestly got that tan. <laughs> I can't look at myself. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I killed my daughter, honestly. Right, it's jam pot. I don't think that's whole. Right, but we're down here now. Oh, it's another shell down here. Look, another one of those shells up there. But they're just thinking of my foot. What is with those shells? Don't understand it. Right, there's a jam pot. There's another one. Well, oh, look, we've been digging around here as well. Gosh, we've never been to this part of it. Bottle busted. Busted bottles. Let me just get my foot in, right? What's that? Full, full jam pot, it's lovely, it's nice. What's it got on the bottom of it? Nothing, just a few swirls. Oh, look at that, it's full. Right, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. I've just put a load outside the front of my house that I picked up and thought, oh, no, what we pick them up for? So they're outside my house. I'm not going to take these to put outside my house. I'm going to leave it there because somebody will come along and they will love, love, love that. There's another one. Oh, that's another full one. I'm not going to keep you, but you're lovely. Jam pot, marmalade jar, that sort of thing. What's that white beast? What's that white beast there? Oh, some sort of giant pulley, maybe? Some sort of ceramic pulley for something big? Oh, another jam pot. Oh, gosh. Wow. Oh, my so my uh, ability to leave them behind is really being tested today. They're just the midi size as well. They're not even the big ones. The midi set, look at them, three little beauties. Right, stop talking about them. We don't want them, okay. Well, it's been digging all around here, wow. Didn't even know that. Didn't even know that. I don't particularly want to start going down because I've not been up. Hmm, well, I'm not going to go down. Like I say, I've not been up yet. What's that bottle over there with something in it? What's that? It's got something white in it. God, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, right, there's a little bottle. Let's have a look. Oh, we're here on our way down to that thing with some white in it. Let's have a look at this little one just in case. I know it's got that icy blue finish that they all seem to have here. Sorry, let me just swap hands. Icy blue finish. 
don't know what that's about. Right, is it, oh, is it a vial? This is a vial. It's something I'm trying to hold on to a dead tree. It's never a good idea. Let's see what that is. That's, oh, before it hurtles down. Sorry, let's see what that is. Please don't move. Please don't travel towards the bottom. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just need to turn around and save myself. Right. Right. So. Sorry, let me just put my glasses on because I can't actually, sorry, I can't actually see what that is. That looks like polystyrene. That looks like a lump of polystyrene. I'm not going to keep this, but I'll just... Let me see if I can get the paper off the lid. Why's that lid got paper all over it? That's weird. I'm not going to keep that, but... Yeah, that's definitely a piece of polystyrene in there. I don't know what that is. Bit of a mystery. I thought it might have been cotton wool, that white stuff, but... Yeah, it's got a fabric wrapped around it and... Something else. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Fabric. And paper. Hmm, don't know. Don't know, it's a mystery. Oh, so that digging goes a bit further on there, down there. But, unless I come down this way, I'm not going to go down to that bit because I'm on my way up. And, you know, I think Mick's already gone off to where we usually go on this dump, but yeah. Bye, bye bye, bye. See ya, see you never. I'm not going to come back and get you. Definitely not coming back and getting you. No. I'm not really, really, I'm not going to. I've got, uh, got nothing in my bag. Doing really well. Little gems, that's all. Little gems. Right, okay, is that a marble? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was then. I thought it was not a marble. It's a little bit of melted something. Right, I'm going to scramble up here. I'll see you when I get further up. I can see a little... Ooh, let me get my feet firmly in the ground. I can see a little pot there. Now, let's have a look if that's a full one or not. Let's see, past the shell. That there's 10 million of. Okay, let's have a look at that one. Oh, oh it is, it is, it is, it is. Oh, you know what, I'll take that. I do like those. It's a nice rounded base as well. So it's just round, if you know what I mean, as the curved. That top edge, more or less full. Oh, oh no, look, 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 look. Ah, you. Put paint in that, it'd go all over my desk and I'd be in massive, serious trouble. So, oh, you just say, when I went like that, I couldn't tell that, that was a hole. But yeah, that's a hole in it, you little, you little tricker. You can stay there. Oh, coming over the horizon of the hill. Another jam pot. Another jam pot. Oh gosh. Definitely sent to test me. Oh, this is like a unglazed. It's got a chip in it anyway, but that's an unglazed one. That's weird. You wouldn't want your food in that, would you? An unglazed one. Unless it was just glazed, sorry. Unless it was just glazed on the inside. Hmm. Strange, that feels very rough. Very, very rough. Right, let's put you down. Whew. Made it to this ledge, thank goodness. Been a bit of digging here, I think. And up there. We'll have a go over the brow of that. Have a bit of a look on here. Looking for the gems if possible, but I will show you any bottles that I think you might be interested in, etc. Honestly, what's with these shells? I mean, I know about the oyster shells, but did they eat these things as well? Some of them are quite big. This is, this is weird. Weird having all those shells, don't know. Oh, there's another pot. That one full. Might know, check for holes in its bottom. Oh, a little bit of a chip there. To be honest, I couldn't bother trying to clean that rust off. And see how that one isn't a slope? Very, very shallow. You wouldn't have got much in them, whatever they had in them. Maybe caviar, somebody said, actually. Um, could have had caviar in because they're not very deep at all. Look at that, that's nothing. So yeah, um, probably caviar, what's that? Oh, it's a seed. Seed, all these green bits and seeds and berries catching my eye again, as well as shells and whatnot. But yeah, go, go, past, go past lots of lovely, oops, little bits of pottery, what's that thing there? Oh, a button. Oh, there you go. A simple little find, a little gem of a button. That's because I just stopped for a moment, thinking that everything was a bead. And it's not, but there you go. That's when you see the little gems. Oh look, right in the forest, it looks like there was a nice little stone pathway up to the top there. Oh, what a shame, it just got unused and 
and just sort of not derelict because it's still still all there, isn't it? Is it is it wood? No, no, wood fronted stone paths maybe. But what a shame! Look, completely, completely impassable. Completely impassable. Oh, look, more, more pottery. Honestly, I'm not a pottery fan, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that a pretty piece that? Oh, I might, you know, I keep saying the ribble. If you don't know, right, ribble finds um, on on here on YouTube. He cuts out pottery. He makes jewellery, bag charms, all sorts of things. Whatever you can do with pottery, right? So I've got a box at home, and every time I see something that I think, hmm, that could cut out, cut round it, he could cut round that pattern there quite easily and make something of it. Put it in a box. He, he doesn't realise. <laughs> well, he might realise, but he doesn't realise how much is in that box probably by now. Um, but you know what? Hmm. I do quite like that. I do think he could do something. And it's no skin of my nose to just pop that in my bag. So yeah, Ribble Finds, he'll use that. Look him up on YouTube. He shows you how to do it. He doesn't just do it. He shows you and tells you how to do it so you could even do it yourself. Unlike me, who won't do it myself, I'll just send it to him. There you go. Lovely little treasure. Okay, I don't think that hole up there is a digger's hole. I think it might be an animal hole, so... I'm not going to go near it. I think that looks like maybe a badger hole, so I shall not bother going near that. I should come the other way. But there's a bottle there. Yeah, just a plain one. But yeah, sometimes because I can see a track here. Look, and that's probably an animal track, not a person track, is it? So I don't want to risk it. And you know what? We're at the end of end of the dump there, I think. So well, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to try and find Mick. Tell you what, I'm going to use this path. To go down rather than cramble down the hill what a great idea so this path is quite handy for me i'm just looking in the sides as i go because i can see nice pottery and bits and pieces so i'm going slowly you know me just to make sure sorry blue what's that blue thing i'll save just to make sure there is nothing escaping us here another thing to look at when you're walking through forests is upturned trees right that could also be an indication as to whether there's a dump here because upturned trees sometimes have things in it to show you like pottery and glass and things like that it's obviously had a jar underneath it at some point what's that oh just the bottom of a bottle but yeah upturned trees and look it's got pottery in it in its roots look at that so yeah there's just just you know just go through your forest and have a look and see what's there because you never know you might find those find those gems on the surface i mean look at the marbles the marbles the beads the buttons when the rain's been it's just there. I don't know what there's something blue. Hang on one sec. No, it's just a blue fleck. Right, so yeah, the rain washes things off. So even though you might go in a place that's not been dug, you still find gems, still find little bits and pieces, and I'm stuck to a bramble. Okay, right, so yeah, upturned trees. Right, I'm going to go back on this steppy path here, which should get me out of here nice and safe so I can go and find Mick. Just popped back into the woods off that path because I just saw this up upturned tree right this seems a bit early a bit modern they're more modern because it's got these plastic things here but they're always interesting aren't they to see what they are what's that one what is that one these are like 50s i think aren't they washing up liquid seven oh, washing up liquid seven just got sevens on it seven washing up liquid don't know right what's that one that one's there oh ajax we know that one ajax there you go, Ajax one, there's a pink one here, I don't know what that is, these are all like 50s, these will be here forever won't they, 50s, 50s things, I don't know what that is, right, is that a beetle? No that's not a beetle, what is it? Hang on, hang on, I've lost it now, there, is that a bee, what is it, a bee is it? Ooh, hang on one sec. Oh, is it a bit of melted glass, I think? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a bit of, sorry, a bit close. I'm, I'm trying to see it. Oh, I think it might be hat, hat pin. Oh, there you go. I think that's a hat pin. Hat pin end. There you go. It's got a bit of uh, iridescence to it. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's a bead. No, it's a bead. Hat pin. I'm going to say this is very, a bit late for it to be a hat pin here. That is a, a bead. A bit of iridescence on it. A bit of that blue stuff like what's on the bottles actually, so that's weird. It's on a bead. Oh, that's lovely. That is a really nice find under the, under the little tree here. Did see something else shining at me now. 
now I've lost it. There was something else shining around here. Maybe it was another one. Maybe it was another one. I don't know. No, bottle there. Nope, I don't think there's anything else here. A bit of old fabric. What's that? Nothing. Just in case it was a something. Is that a... No, a bit of wire protector. I thought it was a big long bead. Right, let's get beads. Oh, I need to put that bead in my little box. Right, okay. There's nothing. I just I did think I saw something else blue shiny like that, but there isn't. Right, so come on, let's carry on. Let's get back on that path. Let's go and find Mick. Yes, hard work. Trying to get up this hill is really hard work. Like, you know, you sort of, I'm taking one step forward and sliding two steps back. It's really hard. Boots are not doing a good job here. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, notifications, everything. Just do it while I'm struggling to get up here. Just do that. Do it. There's not on the way out. There's another little. What's that one? La la. Oh, that's that Lomol lady. Wash it. Wash up liquid. Six shillings off. <laughs> there you go. Six shillings off, ladies. There you go. Not men, just ladies. Don't get Meghan Markle onto that. She'll be furious. <laughs> Lamol, ladies. There you go. But look, there's an old. There's, there's stoneware here. Stoneware. So, just shows you. Just shows you. Old. The older and the newer stuff there in one go. Right. Okay. We'll leave those here. Just wanted to see, just in case there was anything else. But yeah, I'm trying to find Mick. I don't even know where he is. Oh, it's that big dough bowl. Do you remember back in the day? Oh, God, back in the day, I was just happy to find a little piece of it, wasn't I? <laughs> That's a big chunk. Uh, I've actually got one now. I've got one now. Right, I've come off that hillside. Oh, I've got a bit of stone where it's broken down there. Oh, that's a pity. That'd have been a nice. Oh, so let me just battle my way through. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, what pity. Oh, if I've got one like that, that'd have been a little beauty. That's tumbled down from the top, hasn't it? Tumbled all the way down from the digger's hole. Let's have a look. What's that blue? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, no. Is that... Oh, is it plastic? Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, it's nothing. It's plastic. I thought it was a blue. I thought it was a blue bottle. Now, excitement has gone. <laughs> Forget it. It's a blue plastic. Well, you've got to look, haven't you? You've got to check it. Right, broken, broken. Ooh, lots of little bits and pieces on here. I'm just going to have a little bit of a scour. See how high I can get up there. And see if I can fa find anything um, worthy of picking up. The bottle's sticking out. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. It's one of them little bottles there. The nice bottles, but we won't be taking them. We've got a few of them. I'll leave it up there with that one. Well, down there. Well, down there with that one. Maybe somebody might want them. I do know I've spoken to a few people around here. They do come around here looking for bottles. That's probably why there's not a lot of bottles here. But there are bottles about, but not a lot of them. Now, I'm just going to show you this bit here. Don't like being here because that tree, that tree there, that root there, got nothing there, but the ground's just dropped there, look. And right, that tree is quite a big tree. And being underneath these trees is not a good idea, so I'm going to move from here. So it's there to be very careful here. What do you do if that starts falling? Let's get back down. Right, this is soon, this is soon going to be overgrown. What's that? That was a good thing. I thought it was a piece of slate. I did collect a couple of big pieces of slate. Do you remember that big circle one? Okay. That I got from here. And the other shaped one that I think had a clock on it from here. And you know what I've done with them? Nothing. They're at home. I've done nothing with them. So, please, if if I pick up another piece of slate that's lovely and heavy, please shout at the screen and say, don't take it, put it down. Right? Because I absolutely, I don't need it. I've got two that I haven't done anything with. Right, these... Oh, there he is. There he is. Thought I could hear something. Look at him. Like a mountain goat. He doesn't know I'm here. doesn't know I've caught up with him. So he's probably been on here already and found any goodies that need finding. Oh, there's a milk bottle, but it's not very old. So I'm going to say this is 40s, 50s here, isn't it? What's that stuff in there? Is that one of them cork? What's that? Right, I'm just going to get that stopper out there and see what it is. It's a plastic one, but it's intriguing. Or is it just a stopper? Let me pull it out and see. Put the glass in the gloved hand. Okay. Oh, so it's like a modern, a modern stopper, isn't it? When they went from corks to plastic. It's not got the same appeal, has it? We can see what it was, though. Let's have a look what it was. It was... 
oh I think that's alcohol some sort of alcohol Gil Gilbiz London I'm going to say it's an alcohol lid but look it's not got the same appeal has it plastic stopper much prefer cork Mick said something to me but I don't know what he said so I'll go over in one second I just saw something that looked like it could be a stand Ooh. or a fall <laughs> looks like it could be a stand oh yes it could and that is oh that's a lovely hefty sorry that's a lovely hefty thing that could be a stand little milk glass jar there this all seems a bit newer here doesn't it seems a bit 40s 50s so yeah but that stand that is fine that will be a keeper I think that oh, that's one of them little jar oh these I love these but when the hole no good to me and a lamp base when it's broken like that but look there's the white the like um salmon pate salmon spread princess salmon that's the word I'm looking for princess salmon spread would have been in that and that's a great little stand and that's a shame about that that would have been that definitely been a keeper because I love those nice shape nice colour what's that is that like an old old soap dish old um I can't think of the word oh what's the word that metal that metal that's covered in white soap. no no the metal thing what's the word that oh, sort of metal it was called um oh What's that called again? Oh my god. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's on stuff. It's, um, oh, it's gone, the word's gone. White stuff, what's it called again? It's what it made cups out of. Them. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's gone. O old age has hit us, I'm afraid. Yeah. I can't think of the term for that. Just shout in the comments. Yeah, just shout in the comments. That, that metal that's covered in the white stuff, you, you're baking it, you have things, all kitchen stuff made out of it, bathroom stuff made out of it. The word absolutely totally escapes me. But anyway. Like army cups out Yeah, there. army cups. It's gone, the word's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, what have you got? Oh, I've got a couple of stoppers. Oh, no, one stopper I've got that was clear. Oh, yours are, are nice, lovely colours, those. Oh, yeah, I found a button, but yours is nicer. You've had a better find. Yeah, I've not found a lot. No, I found a couple I'm, of marbles. Um, I can't get up because you sliding back down again. All oh, right, a oh, couple of buttons, a couple of stoppers. I found a couple of marbles, uh, a button, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. stuff like that. There's not a lot going on, but you know, the little gems and the, they're yeah, filling my pocket up. The colour of the soil and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but so I was saying be careful with them free trees are just dang it's like there's been a subsidence across the other Oh I see. Oh I thought you meant for me to go no, over no, there. there. So I won't go, go there. Be careful going up there. If you do go up there, yeah. get around the side, go at the top and get under, under No, I'm not gonna go underneath go, them. You're gonna get uh, crushed. Yeah, no, don't want to be crushed by a tree. Because the subsidence has gone right across. Mm. And uh, they're, they're right at the edge, so they're gonna come down at right, any time. I'm not it's not go. windy, so they should be safe. You just don't know, do you? Right, okay, I won't go. All I can see when I look at the camera. It's my face. You got a tan. Oh God. But they were nice. Stop it. No, I haven't. You must have been in the shade. Yeah, you must have. Stop yeah. it. Don't I'm mention it. Finding a lot around here. Then, no, anyway, no. We'll, we'll go back to the first bit. We'll go to our normal. Little yeah, yeah. Like there's probably it tons. Goes... Probably tons up here. But I think you might be better. Some of these ones up here mm. might be better coming down to them rather yeah. than going up to yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, it, it does go all the way around there. Yeah. I found some steps that were unused. Yeah. I came yeah. down. Yeah, and I came down the steps. Right. Probably, yeah. Um. So yeah, okay. Let's let's get going. Hmm, it's probably not, but that looks like it could be a sign. Oh, it is. Oh, emu for colour. Right, that's only a plastic sign, but that. Um, look at that sign, Mick. Emu, emu for colour. It's only plastic. Emu for colour. Emu. <laughs> it's not a uh, peacock. Yeah. But yeah, emu for colour. Hmm. If shoe colour or hair colour, who knows? Ooh, that's one to look up. I like that. It's only plastic, but I'll have that because if it was a, a metal one, it'd have probably rusted and rotted away. Ooh, I think that's so far, that, apart from the marbles, which are always a great find, that is a super find because I haven't found anything like that before. If I could find out what it was, find the bottle maybe. But a what? Oh, right, yeah, I've just seen one here at the same time, mate. Isn't that strange? There's a. Yeah, they broke one here. Oh, oh right. There you go. A little bit of a uh, nose and some lips there. Not much of much, but a nose and some lips. Keep it anyway. Right, what is that? First I thought it was a bullet, but then I thought that's not going to go through anything <laughs> with a with a little slopey thing like that. Oh, metal, okay, metal with a little something there. It's definitely a lid. Right, hang on, let me just stand you up. 
because I just want to investigate this with sorry with two hands. One sec. There we go. What is that? I mean, it's pretty much broken anyway, so it wouldn't matter if I broke it trying to get it off, would it? But it's got some sort of maybe button release there that would have took the lid off. Maybe it's a lipstick. Oh, it might be a lipstick. I might take that and see if I can prise it off. Oh, it's got this bit of a hole. Sorry, a little bit of a hole there. That's definitely some sort of... Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. Anything that makes it a make of it. No, no, it's not. But it's got something that's a button there which looks like it could have been some sort of release that released that bottom edge off the tube. Mm, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to clean it up and see if it is anything or nothing. But I'm, I'm suspecting probably a lipstick or some such thing like that. Oh, what? have got something there, Mick, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> oh, a oh. oh, bit of a face. Bit of a boat. Oh, what have we got? What have we, what have we got on this one? I've put my glasses on, I can't see. Oh, we've got, oh, it's the nose. Yeah, the nose. Oh. A bit more pinker than yours, isn't Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> Will you stop mentioning my face, Mick? No, I, just, you? I just sang. You've got that star look. <sighs> She's a star. Stop mentioning my tan. What? Shut up. <sighs> Your hair looks nice. You had your hair done as well, didn't you? Yes, I did. Because of your hair. What do you mean it goes with my hair? You feel about diet? A diet? Yeah, I thought you might feel better about yourself. <laughs> a diet? It's just getting worse and worse. I just say you might feel more better about yourself with a diet. Uh, I don't know what you're going with this. I don't know where you're going with this. It's like... Rather than having blonde all the time, you can have another colour maybe. Diet! Diet, not diet. You mean I'll, I'll diet? Back to your face again. Oh my God, this is easy for it. He's in, I don't care how ill he is. He's getting it. He is getting it. <laughs> yeah, don't start coughing and pretending to be ill now, Mick. Diet, not diet. diet. Oh my god, he's so so rude. You think that's it? Yeah, whatever. Oh, what is what is this here? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's plastic. But it's plastic, it's plastic but you know what? I like it. It's a body part, yeah. It's an arm. It's a little plastic one, but I still like it. To like it. Might be part of that face as well. Here, I've that face. Oh right, no, that would have had a ceramic arm. Right. But that that's a solid plastic. I like, I like it. It's a limb. Out on a limb. We'll have that limb. A few things here to look at at the bottom of the hill. That one's got a lid on, so that's even better if it's got a lid on because we can actually say what it actually, actually, truly was. Just one second while I wipe it with my gloved hand. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, keeps all oh, right. I'm gonna give that a bit more of a wipe. One second, Mick, could you just do me a favor? Could you just fill me wipe this one second? Just because I can actually find out what this was. No, it's a valved, valved something, but I can't quite get that last bit of crust off there. Oh, that's a valved. Oh, do you think it's dirt? Let me just get some, something to scrape it with. It doesn't matter if it scrapes it off because at least. Okay, it's coming off. A little bit. It's taking the paint off with it. I don't know. Valve something that keeps. keeps. I don't know. Keeps something kind, hands soft. Mm. I don't know. Keep your kind hands soft, people. If you want kind, to. Unless, yeah. unless you've got no kind hands, then don't bother Yeah, to then. Soft, yeah, lead, keep, lead them rough. Only keeps kind hands soft. There you go. I've just invented ones. a new hand cream. Keeps yeah. kind hands soft. Totally inclusive, keep the kind hands soft. Right, I'm not going to keep it round. It does feel very, oh sorry, you've just recorded my chest there. It does feel quite heavy, so it might even have the contents in, but the last time I opened one with contents in, it smelled really nice, but it was a little bit powdery. Right, there's other stuff I wanted to look at down here. You're sidetracking me, everybody, you're sidetracking me. That, I recognise that off the top of a, a water, hot water bottle. Uh, there's a stopper, there's a stopper in that with a big massive dough bowl. Look at that. Yeah, that massive one. Would have been. Right, here's a stopper in a bottle. Bottle that nobody would keep. They won't keep that bottle. So I'm going to take that out of there. Hands up. Get it between my legs. Between my feet. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. Easy peasy extraction there. Oh, that's a different one. WR Stafford and Co. Limited. Oh, I've not got that one before. That is a nice little stopper. Always nice to get a new one because I have so, so many. 
Right, what have we got? I just want to, oh, wait, there's another stopper. Just want to look at the bottom before I start going up to the top because this is where the little things fall down. There you go. What's that one? That's another one again, another different one. Uh, oh, I don't know, rest, rest. I don't know what that says, but I'm not seeing that. Oh, is, is that a plastic one? That it might even be a plastic, sorry, that might even be a plastic one. In the shape of a, parading itself as a vulcanite. I don't know, it looks quite clean. Right, there you go, those two. Just let me have a look what else is at the bottom of here that's rolled down. <coughs> pot, pot, but let's check it. Oh, it's absolutely complete, full, no writing. Nice little jar, as you know, very, very handy for all sorts of things, not just for looking at. Right, there you go, my two keepers. These um, little vulcanite, possibly plastic stoppers. If it's plastic, though, I won't keep it. Oh, just seen a little pot. Oh, I thought it was a, a cauldron. Oh, no, it's not. What, what is it? Oh, St. Ive. St. Ival? No, St. Ival? Right, St. Ival. Right, St. Ival. That is... St. Ival's, that's powdered milk. St. Ival's powdered milk. What else would they have done? Oh, I wasn't going to keep that. I thought it was a cauldron. That's why I went for it. When I got closer, I realised that my eyes are a bit dodgy. It's not a cauldron at all. But it says St. Ival. S, small t, I-V-E-L. St. Ival. And I know St. Ival now do um, powdered milk. Can't imagine that being powdered milk. Maybe they did jams as well? Pastes? Little jam? I don't know. That's, that's uh, something I'm going to look up. I'm going to keep it because it's little. I'm going to keep it because it's only little and tiny. Yeah, St. Ival's little pot. I was hoping to go up there, but the trees look like they're going to shunt down at any moment, so I'm certainly not going to risk it. I don't think anybody should risk it. Lots of little things on here. There's blooming seeds. Blooming seeds. There's nothing up there that warrants risking my life for. Little St. Ival's pot will have you. Enamel. The word we're looking for for that metal is enamel. Enamel dishes. Ah, oh, Mick. Enamel was the word. Enamel. Oh, honestly, it, it just it just came to me. Ugh, enamel. Hmm, I doubt that's full, but that looks like an aqua bottle. It's got some fancy shape to it, so it's the neck's probably broken. I can imagine looking from here, it looks like it is, but I'll have a look at it because I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. And I haven't. Oh, I wonder what that was. Aqua Twisty Turnival. Oh, what a shame. Oh, gutted. Good that it's got no neck. It's a pity. Very nice. Ooh, that looks like <laughs> somebody's hair. Say somebody, something, a doll's, doll's hair. Cell, that looks feels like celluloid. Celluloid plastic, back of a doll's head and an ear. <laughs> I won't be keeping that. But it's a, a creepy little find. A celluloid plastic doll's head. It'd be nice to find the face of it though. That would be look a bit creepy pointing out the earth though, wouldn't it? But yeah, that's where I saw the deer. All the animal tracks are up there, so I'm not going to go up there. The deer's definitely, oh, a bit digging up there, but the deer's definitely run, run along the track there. That you probably can't see it. There's a track there. They ran down there last time we were here, and I can see a track here. And that, it looks like a looks like a badger track or a deer track, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm just not going to go up to that, but we're going to go around to the corner where they don't have things like that. It's just beginning to rain now. I just talked to a nice guy there who's uh, telling me he found a World War One helmet here and a couple of medals, which is really, really nice. Nice guy, have a good chat there. Once I started telling him that I was an outpatient and uh, had a few operations, he, he left. He wasn't interested in me. So, it was nice, but nice guy, anyway. Oh, look at that, flagging. Oh, flagging with no handle. Oh, what a killer. Oh, let's have a look at this big beauty here. What's this big stone thing first? Is that a stone thing? Oh, and it's just have a, a roof, have a, a wall. What's this? Has it got anything on it? No, it's a plain one, but. Had that have had its handle on, that'd have been a little beauty, wouldn't it? Just missing its handle, what a shame. Oh, what a pity. What a pity. Oh, there's a jar there. Oh, gosh. Exhausted, honestly, you've, you've no idea how much it takes. It takes it out of you, going up and down these hills and mounds and stuff. That, please don't let that be full. Do not let that be full. Oh, God, just don't let that be full because that's beautiful. I'm gonna check for holes. Oh god, it's got no holes in it, it's got no chips on it. 
you know what, I haven't kept any of the other stuff. I've not kept it. I've, I've not kept it. I've been good. Right. Look at that. How useful is that? <clears throat> put flowers in it. Put my flowers in it. My friend put her Mother's Day flowers in hers, actually, the, last week. Or when, whenever it was. There you go. I'm going to keep it. It's a full one. It's a lovely big jar. I haven't found one of these in, oh, God, absolutely ages. I think the last full one I found I gave to Lovely Darlings. Um, and that's it. I've not kept one since that. I don't think I've not found one since then, I don't think. There you go. Oh, what's that little picture frame there? That's modern. That's modern. Modern little frame. Oh, look at that though. Nice little glass frame. I wonder if that'll clean up okay. <laughs> it's got a, no, it's just got a piece of paper on it. It's nobody's photo. Oh, it's just the front bit. Just the front bit. Oh. Could I use... No, I'm not taking it. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. For goodness sake, leave that there. A bit of modern trash. Right, somebody's picture frame. We can have it. I am going to have that. That is a super find. A jar. I can't believe... I can't believe Mick went past that. I just spotted something blue there. It might be melted plastic, but... I want to bring you with me just in case. Oh, no. oh, I think it actually is a bead. Funny shape one. Feels like glass though. Feels like glass. Oh, right, okay. Hold that end, hold that end. I'm going to say that's a bead. Saw something there. That was like the bottom of a collar stud. To be honest, ouch me back with that thing. Oh, it is. You see, you recognise these things. A little bottom of a collar stud, little gem. But that bead. I don't have to get some weird shaped beads, honestly. But when I see that blue... I always think, yeah, that's probably going to be a bead because I just loved the colour blue for some reason. I don't know why. What's that there? Sure. I've got that, I've got that part on my back and it's every time I bend over. Oh, every time I bend over, it's whacking me. Whacking me in my back. I need to position it a bit better. I'm just going to do that. I'm just sorry. You don't want to look up my nose. I'm just going to position that part. Just move that out of the way. Well, I remember that from last time. It's a broken door But what is that was underneath it? Oh, I think that's out of a battery. Ceramic. Yeah. Out of a... Of a I like those little ceramic things, those. But yeah, I think they're in the top of a nice, really, glass really. battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll keep that little little ceramic doodad. We're like. Yeah. Cogs. Cogs. Oh right. Right. I forgot what makes up up here now. But I know I'm heading up here for something. I know I'm heading up here to look for something. But don't hold on to any trees because they're all just rotten. They're all rotten. Don't know to put that blue bead. I must have put it in that big pot. I must have done. Right, what did he say? Oh, cogs. Cogs, that was it. Because I see it now. Ooh. Oh. Absolutely. I found one of these. Where did it? it wasn't here, was it, that I found this? I found one. Apple dump. I'd never... Right, that's that's solid. I'll try and prize a few off. Otherwise, I... oh no, should I? You know what, I might take that as a whole, try and clean it and have it as a whole piece on something. It still might look okay, so yeah. I'm going to give that a little go. I'm going to give it a bit of a bash, a bit of a clean. And see what it looks like with all the soil and crust off it. There might be something remaining. Hmm, not found much today, have we? Not found much at all. But what is your favourite find of today? What is the favourite thing that I have found or that Mick has found. I found a few little gems. I hope I, hope I haven't lost that blue bead. I think I put it in that big jar though, to be fair. I took everything out of my pocket and stuck it in that jar. So I think think it might be in there. I hope so. But what's my, the jar? I'm going to say the jar is my favourite find. The beads and the marbles are great. I love them. Great little tiny finds. And I very, very, very rarely keep big things now, don't I? Super rare that I would keep big things. So... Yeah, I'm going to say that. That big jar is my favourite find, but you might equally like the little things better. So, which one is your favourite find so far for what we've found today? Oh, right, there's a little little stubby ink. They are lovely. I'm not going to lie, I do, I do like them, but I've got to stop keeping them. They are a lovely little chunky, stubby ink bottle. What's that? Oh, broken bottle. Just while I'm looking at my feet. Thin bottles. Right, OK, nothing else there that I want to look at. Oh, look at that. What a shame, that's broken. I know I don't like flowers, but that one's not too bad. That one's not too offensive. <laughs> but a little tiny plate. Right, we're going to call it a day now. It's been a lovely day. Yeah. I had a good look around. I didn't find a hell of a lot today. Like, you know, a lot of special gems. gems. 
big well, pot. We uh, found a few bits, which is nice. Yeah. There's a few dangerous points we wasn't going to go into, which I think would have been nice little spots to get to. Mm. But we're going to come back and try them once the trees fall down. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there after the when they come down. They they like you saw on the video, they're about to fall. Yeah. So we're not going to take our gambles there, so no. we'll come back at some point. We're going to call it a day. I want to thank yeah. you all for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you all again real soon. Yeah. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye.